What is up everybody, welcome to today's video. I am going to be showing you how to play some Dirt Rally on your Gear VR thanks to V Ridge, Riftcat, Steam VR, and of course, a Revive. So the first things you're going to need to perform this setup is a five gigahertz router. The one I'm using is the Netgear AC1750 that you're seeing on the screen. There's also a link for that below. And then you're also going to need the PC software Riftcat, which is linked down below also and then if you're using the gear vr you're going to need the gear vr version of v ridge now it is no longer on sideload the most updated version that i have found is actually on construct vr the link for that is also down below also going to look like what you see on the screen so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you the steps to get through this and if you have a steering wheel that makes it even better okay so the first thing you're going to want to do guys is make sure that your five gigahertz ac router is plugged up ready to go you don't even have to worry about internet because the only thing you're doing is transferring data from your pc to your phone through your router you're not doing anything else no internet involved so your internet speed does not matter when it comes to this it all comes down to the speed your router puts out data moving on from there the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to connect your phone to the wi-fi of the five gigahertz connection the best thing to do is make sure that nothing else is connected to this connection to get the optimal result also make sure that you're pretty much within arm's reach of your router to be as close as possible and make sure your pc is pretty much the same distance okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the rivcat website make a login download their software and then you want to move over to your phone. You want to go to Construct VR if you have the Gear VR version. You want to make a profile on Construct VR. And then you want to go to the link provided down below and you want to request to download it. Now, if you're not on the Gear VR and you are just using a regular cardboard based headset, your version is going to be in the Google Play Store. But if you want to get the optimal result right now today, you're going to want to use the Gear VR until you can get your hands on something like the Nolo. So the next thing you're going to want to do is download a Revive. And the reason why you need to download Revive is because you need this specific software to run the Dirt Rally on a non-Oculus device. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to download that right now. The link for that is also down below guys. Be sure to go to those links. All the links you'll need are down below. Okay, so after you downloaded Revive, you're going to connect your phone to Rivcat with V-Ridge, and then you're going to want to launch SteamVR. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Now you want to go to your file location for Revive, Injector, and Dirt Rally application. Best thing to do is put them side by side, like I have here. And then you're going to want to take this and drag it over here and drop it and boom it will launch dirt rally on your gear vr well anyway guys that's it for the quick tutorial i hope you guys all enjoyed it and also be sure to let me know your results down below i'm curious to see how well everybody else gets this to work i have been fortunate enough to get it to work really really well i actually do still enjoy this still using it it's pretty easy pretty simple and once you already have it hooked up it's pretty much you know power on and play after that there's really nothing to it and like i said if you're using a gear vr you're getting a really really good really really good you know cheap vr experience 